Can the economy of China still thrive with a looming tax problem? It's a no-brainer that China holds a large stake in the global market, and the nation has attracted more investors globally into its market. China has been known for its thriving economy and advanced infrastructure. However, given the sudden outbreak of the corona pandemic in the country, with some lockdown measures in place, how will China increase its revenue? You'll learn more about this in the video. But the question remains, what is the tax system in China? What are the financial generating problems facing the government of China? What is hindering China from raising more taxes on its economy? Is there anything they can do to fix this issue? Let's know the whole story. But what is the current tax system in China? Now we are aware of how large China's economy is, and people are investing in this market to gain maximum returns from them. The revenue generated from taxes has been on the increase, and it's one of the contributing factors to China's GDP. As it stands, the revenue accrued on tax is high. Therefore, to maintain this level, the tax authorities set high taxes. So if you're a resident in China, you are subjected to individual income tax, IIT, on your worldwide income. However, Non-residents are not expected to pay tax on their worldwide income, but instead on income sourced from China. Now let's identify the income non-residents have to pay tax on. Employment income, wages and salaries, income from labor service payments, author's remuneration, royalty payouts, business and operating income, rental income, income from interest, dividends, and bonus payouts. Also, any income derived from the transfer of property and incidental income. Now there is what is referred to as a comprehensive tax, and this is made up of the first four in the non-resident income breakdown. But the tax rate differs based on the source of income. The comprehensive tax rate system is within the range of 3% to 45%, and this could be high based on your income category. But most residents' income is classified within the comprehensive tax. What are the financial generating problems facing the government of China? The Chinese economy and its operations have recently been impacted, which has had a significant impact on the country's tax revenue. Take a look at this. The broad budget deficit of China in the first five months of the year went down by almost a trillion yuan, making it the worst record set because spending skyrocketed due to COVID outbreaks and tax breaks aimed at stimulating the economy's drop in income. This simply means that the budget went downhill because individuals and organizations had to go on a compulsory break due to lockdown greatly reducing production income. However, while this is going on, the spending increases, leading to more spending and less income earned. The government will be involved in another spending frenzy with this recent outbreak in China after the first one in two years. This involves their spending on the lockdowns that will be in place, the healthcare budget, and the support that would be given to the affected economies. You might be thinking that the property market should help in this aspect, but as of now, the drastically reduced income generated from China's real estate market has been of no help. Data has revealed that the revenue the government generates from selling land was reduced by 28.7% on year in the first five months of 2022. It doesn't end there, because the deed tax, which is the tax paid when a property is purchased or sold, is reduced by 28.1%. Let's take a look away from the property market and take a look at the vehicle market. The tax revenue from vehicle purchases crashed by 28.9% after initially falling by 28.3% in the first four months. What does this portray? There is weak consumer spending. However, taxes on corporate and individual income have increased by 4% and 8.3% respectively, which is at a slower pace than what was generated in January through April. This goes a long way to show how affected China's economy is. Is there a way out? But is China sitting on its laurels without looking for ways to boost economic growth? No, Chinese President Xi Jinping is planning to invest more in infrastructure to help boost the economy. This project would range from the construction of waterways and railways. Well, it's safe to say that China should get ready for more infrastructure. However, it seems Xi thinks this is the most pliable solution because the restrictions brought about by the pandemic have affected the property market and the country's tax revenue, among others. This begs the question, would this approach help the Chinese economy? Because analysts believe that spending on more infrastructure isn't so sustainable in the long run. I believe the Chinese economy has grown greatly to this point, such that infrastructure wouldn't make a significant change. The situation would be one that would lead to utilizing government reserves, yet the economy is on lockdown and there's a limit to the income being generated. What is hindering China from raising more taxes on its economy? Since tax is one way to develop an economy, 
You might be thinking, but as large as China's economy is, why are they not generating significant tax revenue? Well, I guess you need to understand the intricacies of China's tax system. The prevalent tax system in China is far too regressive. The situation that stands is that as big as China's economy and industries are, the tax collection system is mainly focused on the lower half of the economy. Yeah, you heard that right. This regressive mode of operation is affecting the revenue generated through taxation and, in turn, affects the nation. Though we're aware that China is very good at state capitalism, this is evident because the large companies in the nation are either owned by the state or the party. So these companies are favored by getting less taxation. While the focus is on smaller companies, China needs to learn from the European countries and inculcate their mode of heavy taxation so that the outcome will be favorable for them. Furthermore, the limited population is only affected by income tax, and it generates very little revenue. Because of this, the VAT and the very regressive social contributions generate the bulk of China's tax revenue. It's a known fact that China gets a huge part of its revenue from sales and VAT, and this is relatively higher when compared to countries in similar economic situations. Let's take a look at this. China has a multiple VAT rate system in place, with rates of 3%, 6%, 9%, and 13% rate. Now, the standard VAT rate in China is currently 13%. However, the applicable VAT rate for general VAT payers depends largely on the industry. Generally, the applicable VAT rate for goods would be 13%, while for services, it would be 6%. Is there anything they can do to fix this issue? What can be done to fix this tax problem? The first is to inculcate a progressive mode of taxation. Large companies are generating a higher part of the economy's income. So why is the bottom half of the economy being taxed heavily? It just doesn't make sense. Therefore, there should be a reform to the tax system that would hold all accountable. And this would create a balanced tax system. Well, a first step has been made by the government as Chinese premier Li Keqiang announced in March the plans for the government to reduce the taxes on micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises. This new tax cut policy would help improve the economic situation of the economy. Also, the government should consider collecting more on income tax. As we're aware, China collects 1.3% of GDP in personal income tax, and this is quite low when compared to other countries. For example, the United States collects approximately 10% of GDP in income tax. The current system is favorable to the upper class in the economy, and they are the ones greatly benefiting from it. In addition to this, property tax should be introduced because there's no tax for assessed property value. Incorporating this will help create a level of tax equality across China. Are you aware that China has a massive tax problem? Do you know about the inequality prevalent within the tax system? Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. Also, if you want to watch more interesting videos like this one, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you love the video, make sure to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Until the next video, stay tuned.